flying time for Goliath groupers. Great. So there are some big <laughs> fish drifting just off our coast. But Aaron Guy caught up with a fisherman who is taking fishing to a whole new level on the Treasure Coast. It's one thing to reel in a big fish like this, but imagine doing it on a paddleboard. We talked to the brave fisherman who did just that. The struggle was real. All of this, even oh, a dip no. in the water for this big catch. I was very nervous because I had no clue what was going to happen. And then as fast as it could pull me around and as hard as it pulled me around, it, it was amazing. I'm still sore today after catching it on Thursday. Captain Ben Chancy apparently needed a challenge, so he decided to skip the safety of a boat and decided to fish off a paddleboard. We thought, you know, let's see if we can go do it out of a paddleboard, if, it, if it's even possible. That was the first day I've ever even stepped on a paddleboard before. This massive fish was caught off the coast of Stewart. It's seven foot long by 63 inches around, so five foot three inches around. And it's more than 400 pounds, 412 to be exact. Captain Chancy, who was back at it again on the water, always has video memories of his catches, but is quick to let the fish swim free. Well, when we got it on top of the paddleboard, all we did was measure it and say thank you for participating and put her back in the water. All right, take a close look at this picture right here. While I was doing the interview with the captain there, they were actually catching this particular Goliath grouper while we were talking to him. Oh, yeah, 400 pounds. It's also important to know that if you do catch a Goliath grouper, you do have to throw it back in just like they did. In the studio, Aaron Guy, WPBF 25 News.